Hey guys, what's up? Uh, good morning. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but yeah, I just woke up. Sorry, my voice is a bit, I don't know, but like I said, I just woke up and I can't believe we're about to do this again. So I'm just about to take a pregnancy test. <laughs> and yeah it's it's quite early and <laughs> sorry that's simone moving over there um yeah i have the monitor here on me i can see her just moving and stuff but yeah let me do this quickly before she wakes up so i'm about to take a pregnancy test again wow um let me let me quickly get this done and i'll get my thoughts together and we'll talk so let's do this i'll be right back guys guys it's happened again it's happened again wow uh, oh god you know what let me let me freshen up and get my thoughts together and we'll talk yeah let me freshen up and get my thoughts together and we'll talk because i know simone will be waking up any moment from now and i don't want to you know get distracted and all of that so let me freshen up see to simone and you know do mommy duties and when i'm done we will talk but yeah it's happening again and thank you jesus baby number two <laughs> Oh, oh god i see you guys soon hey guys so it's been a minute um after i took my first pregnancy test which i literally did with you guys i said to you guys let me get my thoughts together and i can't believe after that time it's been like i'm halfway through this pregnancy like i'm past 20 weeks now and I just think I wanted to, you know, really let it, you know, sink in properly before I come to sit on here to talk to you guys because my thoughts were all over the place. And so, yeah, we did the first pregnancy test together. It was literally very early in the morning or even at dawn and we took the test together and we got to know... Um, I'm expecting baby number two. I, however, took, you know, another pregnancy test just to be sure and just to, you know, confirm that, you know, this is actually true. So yeah, I took a second pregnancy test and just so you guys know, I'm far gone in this pregnancy. I also have um, a scan of baby number two over here. So lovely in the womb. <laughs> So yeah, after I took, you know, the first pregnancy test, I did a second one. I think a few weeks after I went to the hospital. So yeah, even before I took the first pregnancy test, which I did with you guys, it never really crossed my mind that I could be pregnant. So I was not feeling well, yeah. And for, for a number of days or like for like a week. So I said to Habi, I think I need to go to the hospital. And he was like... You need to take a pregnancy <laughs> and he was like no i think you need to take a pregnancy test and i was like for what because i i don't know it never crossed my mind that i could be pregnant and even though before i got pregnant with simone um i had said to myself i would want to you know do this whole pregnancy and childbirth thing like, you know, back to back or as quick as possible so that I know, you know, I'm done. But trust me, I didn't really think it was going to happen this soon. 
because when i first found out i was pregnant simone was like nine months yeah yeah i think she was nine months and i was like wow trust me my very first how do i how do i even put it my very first the very first emotion was obviously joy i was happy i was like wow i'm going to i'm going to be a mother of two in like a span of two years and trust me it feels like i've been pregnant from like 2022 to 2024 like it feels like i've been pregnant this whole time and so yeah my very first emotion was obviously joy but after a while i began to feel anxious and i feel that's the reason why it's taking me some time to actually sit down and talk to you guys because i'm not even gonna lie anxiety has been eating me up from time to time even though i'm over the moon i'm thankful to god i'm overly grateful like i feel blessed for you know god blessing me with another pregnancy once in a while i begin to feel anxious like i sit down and then the thought of how i'm going to handle two under two like two babies like how am i going to do it it just creeps in and I'm like, where from all of this anxiety? And I think that's why it's taking me some time to actually sit down to talk to you guys. So, yeah, there's just been a part of me that has been anxious um, from time to time. I think I've spoken to like two or three close friends about this. Unfortunately for me, all of them are, are mothers. So they've been, you know encouraging me and that's what has been you know getting me out of the you know those anxiety moments or those anxious moments and like i'm really grateful to have such people in my corner because i don't know but i i really don't even understand why i get anxious at times like one of them literally said to me or asked me what do you do for simone and she was like all you all you need to do for your baby is to show her love care um, feed her when she's hungry change her diapers play with her all she really needs is your love and she's happy so i shouldn't get so anxious and she knows i'm going to you know go through this phase and i'm going to do a good job at it and that really made so much sense to me and it's really helped me a lot because I'm like, why am I even worrying? Why? 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 So yeah, that's how things have been for me. And this time around, because Habi already suspected that I was pregnant, I didn't really have to break the news to him like I did with Simone because it didn't come off as a surprise to him. So yeah, after I took the first pregnancy test i just informed him about it and he was like he knew it so yeah hubby is aware um, our families are aware i've informed a couple of friends but you know i've not really told a number of our friends so i think i want to break the news to you know our friends now because i'm already halfway through the journey and so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do now i have this onesie for simone that has big sister written in it so i think i'm going to have her wear that onesie and hopefully have her hold the the scan of her sister or her brother hopefully she does it and then have her hold this you know pregnancy test kit as well so we'll see how that goes i just hope my baby would cooperate so yeah i can't wait to break the news to you know our family and friends and share you know the news with them um so yeah that's what i've been up to and we're expecting baby number two i really can't believe i'm going to have two under two so yeah guys i'm pregnant again and don't ask me how it happened because it has already happened and i'm going to be a mother of two soon um was this pregnancy planned i wouldn't really say it was planned per se like i said earlier on even before i got pregnant with simone i knew i wanted to have my kids back to back so that you know i'll just do it quickly and i'll be done and you know move on 
with other stuff but ideally for me i think i was i was looking at like a two-year interval but god has his ways and this is god's plan and i'm not mad about it trust me i'm really not mad about it i'm okay with it because by the time um i give birth simone will be like one and a half which isn't bad at all like that's perfectly okay with me so yeah god's plan is the best <laughs> so um here we are now pregnant with baby number two and i can't wait to find out the gender of the baby that's like the next big thing and i really can't wait to find out so i'll keep you guys posted and i'll be informing our family and friends about baby number two soon and i can't wait to see their reactions because yeah it feels like it was just yesterday i was pregnant with simone and i gave birth and like in no time i'm pregnant again <laughs> i really can't wait to to see their reactions and to hear what they have to say so i will let you guys in on how that goes and yeah Hey guys what's up so today is saturday and i'm off to the hospital again um the last time i went to the hospital i went for like a regular um doctor's appointment ob appointment and i was scheduled for my anomaly scan today i'm also doing my glucose test today which i'm actually happy about like the fact that i'm doing both on the same day so i don't have to go to the hospital twice and also i don't have to fast twice because for both you know the anomaly scan and the glucose test you have to fast so i'm off to the hospital now for anomaly scan for baby number two we get to find out the gender of baby number two um I'm so excited. I'm a bit anxious too because I'm confused. Like I want a boy. I also want a girl. <laughs> so I'm a bit confused because I've been saying if I give birth to a boy, I'm done. However, I low-key want a girl too because I feel giving birth to a girl would make my, my daughters become like twins sort of i hope you guys get what i mean so um i'm a bit confused i don't know why i want but yeah i guess it's it's sort of clear that i'm cool with like any gender and so yeah i'm off to the hospital now and i know it's going to be like a long day because the the glucose test in particular takes very very long and the anomaly scan for my first pregnancy the anomaly scan didn't take long because my baby was very very you know cooperative she was in the right position for them to see the gender and detect like anything they had to detect or do like the necessary measurements and all of that i have a very detailed video on you know anomaly scan on my channel like during my first pregnancy i took my time to explain what the anomaly scan is what goes into the anomaly scan um tips for 
anyone going in for the anomaly scan and all of that so you can check that out on my channel i'm going to link it up there so do well to check it out and i also have another video on you know the glucose test as well so you can check that one also out i would link it up here also so yeah i'm on my way to the hospital now i can't believe how fast the weeks are going by like it was just yesterday i found out i was pregnant oh so yeah i'm on my way to the hospital now to find out the gender of baby number two and i also don't know if i want to you know find out the gender as they are doing the scan or i want to wait to get home and you know do like a proper review even though with this one yeah we're not doing like a huge gender review but there's going to be some sort of review because it's not cool guys you know <laughs> so yeah i don't think i want to find out as they are doing the scan i just hope i'll be patient enough to wait but yeah i think i don't want to find out as they are doing the scan so yeah i would wait and you know do some sort of review even though i've not i've not really planned anything yet but it would happen <laughs> So I keep seeing my <laughs> so I keep seeing my husband. Like you know, the other time when I went to the hospital for like my previous appointment, after the hospital, like on my way home, I don't know if you guys saw. I think I got like a, a bit of it. I just met him. He just crossed. <laughs> he just crossed me, and I just met him again. Like <laughs> it's so funny. Anyways, I just got to the hospital say it's time <laughs> oh no no it was simple uh -huh. no it was not simple that one was rather because this one is rather simple, simple yeah okay. usually people say the age your age and that one was just because my daughter is just one so now you have to do everything faster <laughs> so after this time, I'm done. If you say it's a boy, I'm done. And that's what you are saying, but as time, do everything by 35, Charlie. Oh, yeah, that's the plan, Mom. Do everything. If it's four, you know that you are doing that. That's the plan, but oh, that if this one is a boy, I'm done. Because oh, it's not easy. True. That's what people say, but. <laughs> you have to take You have to take something. So that's good enough, right? Yeah, so it's normal. It's, it's normal. Yeah, okay. it's normal like, What's the normal range? 3.6 to 6.4. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not on the higher side. Yes. Alright guys, so I just remembered I've not really shown you guys what I look like at 22 weeks. so i'm done at the hospital but everything was you know much 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 quicker than i expected mainly because of the glucose test so during my first pregnancy with the glucose test i had to drink like the glucose solution and i had to go in like every 30 minutes for them to take like my blood sample to check the sugar level but today we didn't do that like they just took my blood sample to check the sugar level and that was it like i didn't have to do the whole sitting down to wait for like a 30 minute interval to go in for them to take another blood sample and so like everything was very quick because the last time i ended up spending like three hours just for the glucose test and also as usual for that normally scan my baby was very cooperative and so everything went on you know very smooth i think i spent you know less than 10 minutes in there or maybe 10 minutes at most but yeah everything was so quick baby is perfect 
all the measurements like everything baby is growing normally and like no abnormalities were detected and like i said i didn't let them reveal the gender of the baby to me i have it um enclosed in an envelope where is it i have it here so this is the envelope that has the gender of the baby and so i'm going to have to reveal it with hubby i don't know i'm gonna plan something but it has to be very quick because i don't think i'll have the patience to you know hold on to this for a very long time so it has to be very quick because with the other one like with my first pregnancy with my daughter i didn't keep this as soon as i got it i went to give it to a family friend and she you know helped with the whole gender review but this time around because we're not doing like a very huge gender review i have to hold on to this but i think i need to give it to my sister when i get home so yeah i'll give it to my sister so she coordinates with whoever is doing i don't know if it's going to be a cake or a balloon whatever whatever we plan so that she coordinates with a person uh, for them to do it as per the gender of the baby so yeah that's the plan i know i also got um where is it uh, and then i also got you know um, a printout of my baby so i love to keep memories i did this with my first pregnancy and i still have like a picture of the ultrasound of my daughter and so yeah i did for baby number two as well and i think i would have to frame these because yeah why not so yeah i have this for baby number two all right guys so i'm going to meet up with hubby now then we go home i don't know yeah i'm just meeting up with hubby then we go home when i called him like when i was done i called him and i think he was expecting me to tell him the gender of the baby because it was like he was waiting for me to say something and i was like what's up i was rather acting weird like it was so awkward and i was like what's up what's the plan so yeah i'm meeting up with him and i think we'll just go home so i keep you guys posted and we have a mini reveal to plan I wanna be in your life until the night is over. I wanna 